If it seems I'm doing okay Just recall all the times I've been away And it's felt like there's nothing left If a long time is all you need And I'll try and make sense of all the reasons Why it's for the best It's golden but times like this When we feel so alone It's like the days they merge into one There's too many miles to read your mind And not enough time to make things right Cause you've fallen asleep again I'm not about to do what you think I'm about to do. Just remember, you have to stay clean, use hand sanitizer, and stay away from that fucking pesky virus. Hello, and welcome back to another review. Today, I am reviewing a song called Rewind by a lovely fella called Mark Jackson. Uh, as you've just seen from the video that was played before this. I really like this new way that I'm doing reviews. Um, I'm going to try and get as many videos from people as I can. I just believe that it's good if you can hear the song in its entirety first before I get round to reviewing it so that you don't have to like listen out for it whilst you've got me chatting absolute shit over the top of it. So yeah, this song is called Rewind and was released on the 22nd of November 2019. We will get straight into this! So the song starts off fairly strong with Mark's vocals and a guitar and a key that's held in the background. It starts off strong, the guitar sounds nice, as does the bass and as does Mark's vocals. The bass does come in and it joins Mark's vocals and his guitar and the weird piano key thing that's being held for like 
12 minutes. After this verse, we are then introduced to Mark's chorus, which is lovely and definitely uh, catchy and very feel good. But there is a problem. It's got a big sound, a very big sound. But one problem I faced, especially listening to it through headphones, was that Mark was being drowned out by his own instruments. He's got such a lovely voice and it was just boomed out by bass. I'm just kind of sat there going, Mark, can you sing louder? I, just, I can't, I can't hear you, mate. The, the fucking bass. We then have a little section leading into the verse before we actually get to the verse. This new verse introduces a kick from uh, the drums, obviously, which keeps the flow going and puts a new addition to the song, which feels quite nice. The way that Mark sings in this second verse is a lot nicer for me than it was in the first verse. I don't know what it is, I don't know whether it's uh, confidence or just the way that he's sung it but uh, I definitely found myself enjoying his presence more in the second verse. There is a section around about 1 minute 50 where Mark sings, tell me how you're coping. He goes to hit a high note, but I don't feel like it really hit it fully. He gets to the key that he's going for, but his voice kind of breaks and it's a bit... <laughs> It came across a bit strenuous and it's not a massive issue because the way it's been mixed has been able to make it fit correctly. But it's just something that I picked up on when I was listening to this. I just kind of couldn't help but thinking, okay, it didn't really hit it that well. But we then have another chorus again, which is the same as the other chorus. And I'm still searching for the fucking lost treasure of Mark's vocals. We then get a bridge, which for some reason has a return of that fucking... I mean, to be fair, that's how the key makes me feel, but just the key, just... I feel like I'm in a hospital listening to someone die because all I can hear is their fucking heart monitor flatlining. It then, <laughs> after this bridge, it then goes to guitar and vocals where Mark then goes to hit another high note. But he does it! But he fucking pulls it off! I, I don't... <laughs> I just want to know, like, obviously with the first one, I don't feel like he hit it that well. The second one, he's pulled off perfectly. So I don't understand the decision to not go back and re-record that one to make that one hit properly if you are more than capable of doing it in this one. That I don't really understand. Like, it sounds fucking cool once he can hit that note in this second part. I just don't, un I don't get it. I, I personally think you should have maybe gone back and redone that or cut it out or whatever. But uh, if you're more than willing to show that you're capable of hitting that note in this second part, then I definitely think that you should have done something to make the first one just as good. And then we go back to the lovely cheery chorus where halfway through, you can hear someone turn the bass down. So they obviously had realized that the bass was too loud in this section. So I got comfortable with that and was like, oh, thank Christ for that. The bass has been fucking turned down. I can finally hear the vocals. And then literally about two bars later, they just go, <laughs> <laughs> And they just turn it they just turn it back up i don't know it kind of irritated me a little bit if i'm honest just because they realized what the problem was and that was the bass was too loud and then they turn it down and then merely fucking two bars later we're back to having it fucking fuck our ears again didn't really understand that to be honest yeah the, the chorus is is a nice part it's probably the best part of this song i think it's lovely it's catchy it has so many good elements to it like i said the guitar bass uh, the drums, the constant beat and the flow. And obviously Mark's got a very nice and charismatic voice. But I think the problem of it was, is that it's so hard to hear because of shit that's going on. It's turned up way too loud. And then I think in your final chorus, when you realize that you've got the problem where it is too loud, so then turn it down, so then turn it back up again. It was just weird. I didn't really, really understand it, to be honest. It has a really nice ending. There's four strums of the guitar. I need to stop doing that because it just constantly looks like I'm wanking. There's four strums of guitar and then it finishes. Uh, and then everything sort of just fades out and it, it's naturally just fading out and it sounds really nice. But yeah, I mean, overall, I did enjoy this song. The song, this song is a good song. I just think it suffers a lot from mi mixing more than anything. I mean, like I said about the, the whole hitting the high vocals thing, that, that I don't get personally. But in terms of mixing, like the mixing just was a bit weird for me because like I said, you've got weird decisions and then when you fix one of the issues to then go back to the issue, I just, yeah, I don't know. 
Overall, I enjoyed the song. It's fun, it's catchy. Mark's definitely done a good job. I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe this is his first release. I will just double check that. Uh, yeah, it is his first release. So for a first release, I definitely think it's it's a good song for a first release. I just think for future reference, there's nothing wrong with re-recording something. There's nothing wrong with going back and taking a listen and noticing errors and doing it again. I think that next time the mixing should have more care and attention put into it, but that's just my opinion. Overall, this has been another review. Thank you to Mark for letting me use his video and his song at the beginning of this as I will always thank anyone for whoever lets me use their shit in my videos and whoever lets me just talk shit on their reviews, on, the, on their songs. Fucking, oh, what am I doing? I'm still so tired, man. But yeah, thank you to anyone who does let me review their stuff and use their songs and videos in my videos. So yeah, overall, this has been another review. I will ensure to link all of Mark's socials down below so you can check them out for yourself. Uh, make sure you give me a like, share, comment, and subscription. We are now on, which is quite mad, I think we're on like 76 subscribers, which now means I'm 24 off my goal, which means 24 until there's a 35 pound giveaway. So share it to your friends, get them to subscribe, and then I'll ensure that I uh, do this giveaway to say thank you. Thank you for getting me to 100 and for watching my absolute pure shite content. But yeah, thank you. If you enjoyed this, why don't you comment, RE-WIND! Thank you, and have a nice day.